So what we have now is the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, which is an action RPG. And in the game you are Van Helsing, uh, but the younger one, so Van Helsing's son, because his dad is too old, so he sent his son to Borgovia to defeat these monsters. Uh, who are made uh, by a mad scientist with weird magic, with weird science. Uh, in the game, well, you will die. <laughs> with the LB you can uh, drink a health portion, yeah. <laughs> in the game, uh, uh, you can use uh, melee weapons, uh, ranged weapons and, uh, and magic, so spells as well. And every enemy has special abilities like uh, front resistance, fire immunity, or uh, they can freeze you. Or for example, these small guys, uh, they, we call them Igors, uh, they, they explode when they die and, uh, and it causes a huge damage uh, to you and uh, to your enemies as well who are around them. You can loot in the game. Uh, so. You can find uh, items, magical items, rare items, uh, basic items, of course, and sets as well. And uh, and you collect a lot of gold. You have always a basic sword and basic pistols. And uh, and you can use uh, uh, melee uh, skills for your sword, both for your sword and both for your pistols. So and uh, you have, uh, of course ranged spells like these uh, electricities yeah there is the store no this guy is your friend <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can talk to npcs in the game you will have a follower she is uh, the ghost of lady katarina uh, but now we can't see her in this uh, pre-alpha build because the game is in pre-alpha it will be released uh, in Q4 or at the beginning of next year. Okay. And what is the new information? That it will be a trilogy. Uh -huh. It was planned from the beginning of the development. Because we are in Dina, so the game will be self-published. And, uh, and uh, so we can reach uh, more people, more gamers uh, this way. So we will uh, make three smaller games, not a, a big, more expensive game. So the one part will cost about 15 euros. And uh, each part each part story is, uh, is unique. So you can play only the second part or only the third part. But of course, they are connected to each other. So the best game experience, you can get it if you, if you play all of the parts in the right order. So the setting is uh, is in a gothic noir universe it's a little bit steampunkish but without steam because electricity is the new wonder in this world uh, yes. yeah oh, I <laughs> yeah so for example these guys they are the strong men they are very strong but uh, but fortunately they are slow so so everybody has their own weaknesses in the game and the whole game will be narrated by Van Helsing himself uh, with a very sarcastic humor. <laughs> and for example, his follower, Lady Katarina, she, she will always criticize him and his decisions. You can customize your follower skills as well. We have a we have a very detailed level up system, and as you kill more and more enemies, you will gain rage points. Uh, you can see it uh, in this yellow bar uh, in the user interface. Yeah, now your rage points are full, and you can spend your rage points to boost your spells and skills. So. So, uh, for example, in the Xbox version, with, the, with these arrows, you can boost your spells, yeah? And you can combine these, uh, these power-ups. Now we call them power-ups, but, uh, but the game is in pre-alpha, so it can change later their name. Yeah. 
so you can customize your skills. And you have some other uh, spells and skills which uh, you can learn for gold, so they are not in your skill trees. But you can get them in your quest. The game has a very strong uh, story, main storyline, but uh, there will be a side quest. Yeah, for example, with this spell, you, you just stop the time for a while. So there will be side quests where you can make decisions. Oh, heal yourself with the LB. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can level up now. Yeah. Uh, we have three skill trees. Uh, one for melee weapons, one for ranged weapons, and one for the magical spells. Uh, and as I said before, it, uh, it will be a trilogy. And between two parts, we plan to release... Uh, so we want to build our community. So we, we plan to release uh, new content. Uh, for example, free micro DLCs and new multi-levels. Because there will be a cooperative multiplayer mode, up to four players. And later, other, other modes, of course, other multiplayer modes. Oh, victory! So... <laughs> you killed everybody <laughs> on this level. The game will be released in Q4 or at the beginning of the next year. And uh, we want to release the game when the whole gameplay is ready. So we want to release the next part in half year after releasing the first part.